Hi guys, welcome back to the Handyman Kevin Show. First of all, I want to apologize for not posting lately. We were shooting a Star Wars fan film in the Handy Garage, so I couldn't get in there to work. But now I'm back, and today I'm going to show you some basic woodworking. In fact, even more basic than what we do normally here. The other day, my neighbor was trimming her tree, and she gave me all of this wood. And some of it was pretty scuzzy. There's some insect damage, whatnot. However, there's also some good pieces of what I believe to be silver maple, which is a beautiful cabinet wood. A little softer than hard maple, but still a joy to work with. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to take logs like this and using hand tools and a table saw, turn them into this beautiful box. So let's get started. To illustrate the techniques, I'll be milling two logs into boards, then turning them into a rustic box with exposed dovetail construction. A floating panel in the bottom can move with the wood as it changes seasonally, and the lid is just a friction fit on top. Before you can safely cut the wood on your saw, you need to make some flat faces. I start by chopping off all the knots and other high points. Then I use a draw knife to make three flat faces on each log. If you have a big enough bandsaw, you can cut in one pass. On a table saw though, you're going to need to flip the log. Be careful and remember to use a push stick. My two little logs made a surprising number of half-inch boards. Pick the boards you're going to use and make a flat square edge on each one. Then, using your reference edge against the fence, you can rough cut each piece. The next step is to flatten and smooth the faces with your smooth plane. You can use the side of the plane to check for concavities. The bottom panel takes a rabbit so it can fit into the plows and the pieces. You can make that on the table saw. And then you make the matching plow, also on the table saw. I've done dovetailing before, so I'll go through it fairly quick. In this case, I'm using the bandsaw to cut the tails. And then you use a mallet and chisel to remove the waste. Maple is hard, but it cuts nice and cleanly, making it one of my favorite woods for dovetailing. Once you have the tails, you can use a sharp pencil to mark the pins.
and back to the bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw, don't worry. It only takes slightly longer to cut it with a handsaw. It's always a good idea to sand pieces before you assemble them, because it will be much easier to reach into corners. It's also a good idea to dry fit the dovetails, so you can do any final trimming before there's glue involved. And then you glue your box together, using as many clamps as you need to to do the job. Once the glue dries, you can use a block plane to flush up all the corners. Now I'm making the lid. It has a rabbit all the way around the centerpiece so it can fit tightly. It's a good idea to cut off a little bit at a time and check for fit. And here it is, fit into the box. For the moldings, I found some branches that had some nice spalt features in them, and then milled them the same way as the other logs. They also get rabbits, which you can mark with a pencil. And then you cut those on the table saw as well. Again, you want to use a push block. Then if you don't have a miter saw, you can use the miter gauge of the table saw to cut the miters and the moldings. It's a good idea to pre-drill the holes before you nail in the moldings so they don't split. The short end pieces are only nailed so they can move with the wood, and the long side pieces are glued and nailed. And the last step is to set the nails down below the surface of the wood. And there's the completed box, ready for finishing. I'm not going to go over finishing here, but you can check out my blog for an easy finish that will work well for this box. And now you know how to take raw logs and turn them into a simple box. But if you can make a simple box, you can make just about any kind of cabinet because they're all boxes. So, have fun with those techniques, and I'll see you soon with more great projects.